Hey, it's Glenn Stefanko here. We're at the chapel. We're really excited of everything that's been going on and the newest updates. So uh, I'd like to just give you a tour and show you around a little bit. As you can see on top, we have the steeple. We were able to raise that uh, last week. The bell was rung for the first time by the previous owner, which uh, donated that to us. All right, come on in and I'll show you the rest of the chapel. On this half of the building, in the front half, we have the groom's side and the men's bathroom, if you go down that hallway. And on this side, it will be the bride's side as well as the women's bathroom. With volunteer help, our plumbing has gone in and ready to be tested as well. Certified volunteers have helped us with the electrical system. We have one more weekend where we're gonna have volunteer help. We should be ready to go with that as well. If we go this way, you'll be able to see the sanctuary and where we're at at this point. Glass throughout the building that's arched will either be obscure or stained and etched glass. That allows you to have a story be told from the time you walk in to the time you see the front of the building. And along the sides here will be four panes on each side that will continue the story all the way to the very end. And you'll have to wait to see what that glass looks like. The chapel has been filled with amazing personalities, people that have gifted materials and time and energy and groups that have, city groups that have given us food and luncheons and it has been surrounded by love from Grace City people and community members that don't even go to Grace City. It's been a humbling experience and I can't wait to see how the rest of it's gonna turn out.